Welcome back, everyone. I have a confession to make. Long about early 1980s or whatever, I remember when someone mentioned to me, it was the uh, executive director at SPAC at the time, Herb Chesro, said to me, you know, I think given all the interest in our community for dance, we ought to have a museum dedicated to dance. Lo and behold, fast forward, I think, Laura, I think it's like 40 years later or something like 30. that. 30 years yep, later. 30. Uh, we have a real crown jewel of a museum right here, right in our community, the National Museum of Dance. And joining me today is a friend of ours for a number of years, but uh, recently, I think recently still works, promoted to director of the museum. This is Laura Dorada. So welcome back, Laura. Thank you. And Thank congratulations. You for me. Thank you. Thank you. What a wonderful move. Yes, great opportunity. Really smart wonderful. Smart board of directors is what I'm going to say. <laughs> well, thank you. You're smart. You got the I have right to agree. person. <laughs> So you've been involved with the museum for a number of years. Let's, yeah. let, let's just do a little bit of background here. Um, exhibits and design, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, very, very specific talent and one that really sets the personality for the museum, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's the image of the museum. It's why people come there. Yeah, mm -hmm. got it. Um, and I've watched it develop over the years. Uh, some of the permanent exhibits are the ones that you really, any, any given day, any given time, is really worth going to the museum to see. And I'm thinking of the way you design and the way you set up the Hall of Fame exhibit. Mm -hmm. yep. What a beautiful exhibit yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, it is, that's terrific. And it's um, growing all the time. It too, is, right? it is, yeah. yeah. So the Hall of Fame, one side is permanent, the other side changes every year, depending on who the inductees are that year. Yes, right, yeah, yeah on one side of that wall, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Yes, I know, and I love watching that because you, you tend to do a lot about the history and the uh, sort of the, the seminal points of interest for the person that's been inducted right, right. That, that year. Yep. Was and it's it Mark always, Morris last year? No, no. La, uh, this past year it was um, our founders. Because it was our 30th anniversary, we did oh, the founders, yeah, right. Lou Swire and Mary Lou Whitney. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, so um, they were inducted because without them we wouldn't have a Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so You know, interesting, you're talking about that exhibit the, uh, on the other side. It was wonderful to see some of those photos mm -hmm. from those days when they yeah. were breaking ground and mm -hmm. all of that and that yep. stuff. Lou Swire was very fundamental in the development of the whole Saratoga Performing Arts Center, yep. as well as, as Mary Lou Whitney. Yep. Um, you've got a, an exhibit that's coming down, so people can't see this one, but um, it's Dancers and Athletes, right? Yeah, Dancing Athlete, it was called. It was right. up for two years, yeah, and it featured the relationship between dance and sports and dancers and athletes. It was, you know, very, very popular, but it's been up for two years, so mm -hmm. time to take it down. You know, it's wonderful because there's a, an amazing correlation between the discipline that a dancer has and someone who's in sports mm -hmm. in terms of the regiment, uh, like I said, the discipline, uh, the skill, mm -hmm. uh, the, and the absolute determination to succeed. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, isn't mm -hmm. it stunning? Yeah, I, yeah. I think so. Now, uh, how are you going to top that one? So we have a new exhibit called Gender Neutral, which will explore oh, non-traditional gender roles in dance um, from the 1800s to now. Um, and it will strongly feature the Trocadero oh, de Monte Carlo. Role. So the, yeah. the all-male dance troupe, they dance in po on point in mm -hmm. drag. Mm -hmm. um, and it is opening on April 19th. And the Trocadero are performing at the Egg in Albany on the 20th. Mm -hmm. So we invited them to come to the opening on the 19th. Are they coming? Yes. All of them. One of them? All of them. All of them. They're all, all or nothing they, group. And they're going to perform? No, 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 no. Oh, no, okay. they're just coming to see the exhibit uh -huh. and you can meet and greet kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, this this is very exciting. Now, yeah. uh, obviously, the timing on this is, is really very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's the name of the exhibit again? Gender, Gender neutral. Gender neutral. Good. I got mm -hmm. it. Um, and who came up with that one? Um, well, we have a, we, in going through our 30th anniversary, we looked at our collection and we're seeing what we had to feature and we realized we have a huge collection of the Trocadero that was donated by Natch Taylor. So we mm. said, well, we, we always try to look inside at what the museum has, uh, you know, in our archives that we can feature that the people don't normally see. And with the well, Trocadero, there's a lot of stuff here. So mm -hmm. we started to explore it and it's really, it's bigger than just Trocadero. You know, Mark Morris um, really has a lot of gender neutral roles and really his his uh, approach is different than Trucadero's. Um, tango dancers originally were men yes, dancing right, with true. men. You know, That's women right. have danced with women. You know, there's, historically there's there's aspects of it. There's equality aspects of it, and then just pure entertainment. I mean, the Trucadero are very talented, but very funny yes, too. Right. Wonderful so, sense yeah, of humor. Yeah. So. Um, and when does that exhibit open? The nineteenth, April nineteenth. Oh, I've got it. Okay. Yeah. And members of of the troupe will be there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's very very exciting. Yeah. What time is that? 
Uh, gosh, in I think the, the opening is probably 6.30. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, and if you okay. want to actually know more about Trucadero, we're going to do a little movie screening, a free movie screening on March 24th. It's a Saturday right. afternoon. Um, a documentary just came out called Rebels on Point, and it's all about oh, great name. The, the Trucaderos. And, yeah, so if you want to check it out, you can come to the Riggy Theater for a free, mm -hmm. free screening. You know, I was just going to ask you about it. what's going on at the theater. This weekend is Vagina Monologues. Oh, yeah. No, yeah that, you've the done night, that before. Yes, we have. You? We have. Uh, we, we collaborate with iTheater Saratoga mm -hmm. and do present the Vagina Monologues. It's uh, Friday night and Saturday night at 7. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it yet, go see it. It's well, you want to know it. something? I remember the first time that I saw it. You know, you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, okay, you've got that word in there mm -hmm. and it's monologue. <laughs> okay, what is this going to be about? And it turns out to be so entertaining. It was. And uh, you want to know something very insightful, too. Yeah, yeah. Very poignant, very yeah. sensitive. It's yes. a very, very interesting play yep. to see. Yep. I highly recommend that you go see it. Mm -hmm. And um, the theater there, the Riggy Theater, uh, hats off to Michelle Riggy, who does so much for the museum. So, so much. much for the community, mm -hmm. but so much for the museum. It's only 48 seats. Did yeah. you uh, sell all the seats? No. No, oh, okay. so we, we did a, a sponsor seat program where right, you could right. um, make a donation and you get a plaque with your name on the seat. And we have eight or ten seats available, um, but since most of them are sold, we're going to have a reception to launch these saved seats. And, oh, nice. Yes, and we'll have a special performance. Uh-huh, and who's going to attend? Who's Tommy Toon. The, the Tommy Toon? The Tommy Toon. Oh, my goodness. So, well, now you know why the word national yeah. is in front of Museum yeah. of Dance. <laughs> so, and the only way you can see that is if, <laughs> is if you buy you, a seat. So, if anybody wants to sponsor right. a seat, call me. <laughs> I got you. What's the website, Laura? Uh, dancemuseum.org. Okay. Dance Museum. That's really easy. Mm -hmm. Dancemuseum.org. It's a wonderful site to go to. You learn well, a lot about the world yeah. of dance, not only ballet, all forms of dance and, dance, and the wonderful connections that Laura and her team make between dancers in society, dancers in athletes, dancers in history, dancers in politics. So it, uh, it's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's great. Congratulations to you again. Thank you. Wonderful thank you, in thank that you. role. And, you know, an organization like the National Museum of Dance to have somebody with that kind of creativity, just the breath of it is just explodes. That, that's very cool. Thank you. All right, so uh, have us back before the summer because we want to know okay. what's going on in the okay. summer. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Great well, to see you, Laura. Yeah. Yoga. Oh. It, we have yoga now, and we're bringing aerial yoga. Aerial yoga? Aerial yoga, okay, yes. Okay, you're going to have to come back to explain what I that will. is. I will, so okay. keep, <laughs> keep your eye out for that. It's not there yet, but it's coming. And if it's aerial yoga, I guess if you're going to keep your eye out, you have to look up. Is that, is that the <laughs> no. idea? Okay. Great to see you. Nice to see you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>